wanted to make a quick video on how I upscale my renderings with AI and can take my grass from this to this. I use Magnific AI to help with this process. And I just a disclaimer, I don't love using AI, but sometimes it just creates a great product. So uh, here in Unreal, this is what I use as my rendering software. You guys obviously use whatever you use. Um, you know, this grass, it looks pretty good. You know, I like the tufts of grass that these assets provide. This is Max Tree. If you guys want to learn more about Max Tree or Unreal in general, um, let me know. But, you know, this is passable. You know, I don't hate this. Um, but sometimes using AI to get that last step of fidelity um, is just a really great option. So um, I've already rendered these out, but let's hop into Magnific and see what we can do. So very, very quick rundown of Magnific. I always use the upscaler. It upscales and also does some uh, AI interpolation of things. Um, so what we're gonna do is you input your image here that we've already rendered. The scale factor, I always keep at two times, but basically that's converting an HD image into a 4K image using AI. Now the prompt is fairly important. Um, honestly, I think that all you really need to do is add patchy grass, leaves and small sticks, stuff like that. Just kind of prompt it to, um, you know, what it wants to do. It, it needs to know a little bit of what you're going for. Now, this is crucial, the optimized for. There's a whole list of things, but Magnific is good, but it's not perfect. So we're gonna have to do two different uh, AI upscaled images. And the first one we're gonna do is using nature and landscapes. This is really good at grass and you know foliage. And obviously that makes sense but it sucks at the actual 3D model of it. So we're gonna run one with nature and landscapes and run another with uh, the 3D renders. And you kind of get the best of both worlds. Now you guys can mess around with this if you're following along. I usually use three, one, one, one. Um, you guys can go in Magnific and read all of these blurbs on what each one means, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. And yeah, then we'll upscale. So this is the nature and landscapes one. So this is the original image and this is the upscaled image. Look at that. It looks so good. And it looks like a 3D, you know, it looks like a photo. Now you guys can obviously prompt it to not have the dandelions. You know, I don't hate it. I think that's pretty cool actually. Um, yeah, it makes, makes this, does a pretty good job of this. You know, the thing with AI is it's not perfect, obviously, you know, it's changing things that you don't want. And that's what Photoshop you still need to use. You know, you have a mountain in the background, I'm not sure why. Um, but overall, yeah, the grass is just great, but you get a lot of artifacting up here. And that's because we're using the nature and landscapes uh, engine. And so that's why we have to do the other ones. So we will be using a 3D render. I've already got it here. I'll just show you the difference. So if you're optimized for 3D render, it still does the grass. It's just not as high fidelity. You know, this bush right here, you know, looked great before. It still looks okay. It's just not perfect. But all this artifacting up here in the roof is completely gone. And it, it's just a much cleaner image. Now you're still gonna have artifacts. Like we need to tweak some things here. It's not perfect. Um, but you merge the two together and you can have a really great product. Um, another example real quick. I think I have another one down here. So this is using the nature and landscapes. I have another exterior shot. And once again, the grass, the foliage, it all looks incredible. It's upscaling to 4K. You know, our trees look great. Um, and yeah, I love that. Another thing about the nature and landscapes of Magnific, for some odd reason, it does a great job with sidewalks as well. The curbing, all of that is just looks really, really real. Um, so I typically use 
the grass in nature and landscapes and the curbing and sidewalk for my exterior shots. But you can see this is supposed to be brick and it just does not know what it's doing. That's why we have to do optimize for 3D render, which is this one, you know, and it, it does not have as much artifacting and it, it kind of knows what it's optimizing for. But once again, the grass, I don't even think it's upscaling it here. It just doesn't really know what to do with it. And sidewalk is not as good. So that's why we have to marry the two together. So real quick, I'm gonna go into Photoshop and just kind of show you the final image of what I had. Um, and this is the original and overlaid with the Magnific. That's what it looks like. So I was able to marry both um, of those and get a great image. And this is kind of, you know, I deleted off the main image, kind of, you know, the grass and some of the foliage and the door was messed up on that one. Um, and that's why we get that perfect image. So hopefully you guys learned something and enjoyed this. If you want more Magnific videos or Unreal Engine videos or anything like that, let me know. I'll be um, posting a lot more here and doing a lot more tutorials like this. Thank you. And hope you guys learned something.